Unafraid of the future, surrounded by love. Proud, proud of who we are. I think the best place to start in, in discussing uh, a republic or the Republic of Barbados is perhaps with independence. Um, 19, 1966, when we, we broke away from our British colonial status and became an independent country. Um, when we did so, um, we really, we acquired many of the attributes of a republic then, because a republic is basically a state in which sovereignty, um, the power to, to, to do everything necessary to govern itself, resides in the people. Um, and versus, you know, a state in which power resides in, in a monarchy or an aristocracy. And in 1966, when we, when we became um, an independent nation, we really had many of the attributes of a republic. Um, we had a democratic system of government where the people elected the government, um, including um, the premier, the prime minister. And... Um, but when we broke away from Britain and became independent, I would say we made two compromises that stopped us from becoming a full-fledged republic where all power resides in the people and the people's elected representatives. And the two compromises we made were, one, we decided that um, we were not going to totally break away our of a um, legal system from, from British control in that we still kept the British Privy Council as our highest court of appeal. And the second thing, the second compromise we made is that um, even though our, you know, our head of government in terms of the prime minister was, was Barbadian and indigenous, our, our members of parliament, our cabinet, and, 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 and all of that governmental power, but we decided that we were going to, to compromise and still um, retain the monarch of Britain as our head of state. Um, now, the, 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 the head of state is the public representative that is deemed to embody um, the unity and the legitimacy of the, of the state. So in 1966, we, we kept the Queen of England in this position. Um, we said, okay, she will be, she will be mainly ceremonial, um, but still, still having some um, substantial um, responsibilities um, to perform. Uh, and so that was a compromise. And we kind of mitigated that compromise by saying, but she will have a local representative on the ground in Barbados, which will be the governor general. All right. So those were the two compromises we made. Other than that, we had all of the other attributes of, of a republic. That is a state in which power really resides in the people and their elected representatives. So in between 2002 and 2005, we dealt with, the, with the, the first compromise, that having to do with the Privy Council being our highest court of appeal. We made a decision back then that we were doing away with the British Privy Council. We established our Caribbean Court of Justice, and that became our highest court of appeal. It is only now that we are dealing with the second compromise, which is that we have decided that the time has come where we are going to remove the monarch of Britain from the position of being the predominantly ceremonial head of state of Barbados. And instead, we are going to put in place a native Barbadian, either a person born here or a person who has Barbadian citizenship by virtue of being descended um, from a native-born Barbadian. And so the importance of this is, number one, um, we are moving away from a foreign head of state to a local Barbadian head of state. And number two, we are moving away from a hereditary head of state. That is 
a person who is head of state, not because anybody voted for them, but because they are deemed to belong to a quote-unquote special family, a royal family. So we are, we are getting rid of that idea, and we are saying that the new head of state of Barbados will be selected through um, a, a democratic process. Is now the right time to transition to a republic? No, the right time was the right time was the 30th of November 1966. That was the right time. <laughs> that is when it should have been done. You know, this is this is a long this is something that is a long overdue. This is 55 years overdue. Really and truly when we became independent, it should have been done. <laughs> <laughs>